Welcome back in. It is 714. Check this out. Ever since we told you about these toxic hammerhead worm sightings here in the DMV, it has been one of the top trending stories on WUSA9.com. Several of these guys, they were seen at a home in Northern Virginia recently. Now, you know not to touch, but what should you do if you spot one and how to keep your and how to keep them out of your yard? That's the important question. Abby Larico verifies the fast facts. This one is definitely a story that's had you talking and it might just be saying, ew. I mean, look at these things for an even closer look though. We turn to these sources to verify how to get rid of these hammerhead worms. They're not supposed to be here anyway. That's because they're an invasive species now making themselves at home in the DMV, usually hitching rides on the roots of plants. Looking eerily like the shark of the same name, the hammerhead worm secretes the same debilitating neurotoxin found in another ocean species, the pufferfish. That can cause skin irritation if handled or be toxic when eaten. But it's what the worms eat that Smithsonian entomologist Floyd Shockley says is the biggest issue, a steady diet of earthworms, which are essential for healthy forests, crops, and backyard gardens. While most people probably also find earthworms kind of gross, they're incredibly important ecologically for us. So when you see one, do not touch it with your bare hands and don't try to smash it or chop it up unless you want double the problem because these guys can actually regrow missing body parts. Instead, report it online with a tool like iNaturalist for surveillance purposes, then capture it in a sealed container and toss it in the trash. You can freeze it overnight to kill it if you want to, and if you have the stomach for it, splash it with a little vinegar or some salt, which will dissolve the worm could really build up quickly and, and create a big ecological disaster. We want people to be out there, you know, doing surveillance for us, taking photos, reporting when they see them, and then going ahead and killing the worms uh, if they can do so safely. Of course, worms live underground. They're easiest to spot in the early morning hours or after a rain. If you think you have a big problem, though, in your yard, there are soil treatments available. However, you need to be careful not to overdo it and create an even bigger problem. So consult with a lawn care expert for help with that. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.